Have you ever been curious about which of the LLMs like ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini are better at screenwriting? Well, today we're going to look at that, and I'm going to show you uh, through three different tests. Now, these are sort of random, but they can sort of show you which one works the best. And I was really surprised at which one seemed to be the best one. I had thought initially one would be the best, and then I got to the end. So stick around to the end to find it, that out. Also, I'm going to link to another video at the end, which supposedly has a software that's better than any LLM in terms of helping with screenwriting. So uh, let's get right into it. Well, the first thing I had each of these AIs do is I gave it a prompt, and I'll show you with the first one, uh, with ChatGPT. I simply asked this, I would like you to come up with a script for the first 10 pages of this outline. I want you to use a style that mimics your favorite screenwriter, your choice of anybody in the last 50 years. Your favorite can be based on your preference of metrics, uh, of, the, of the following metrics, fans, awards, etc. I'd like you to tell me who you picked and why. And what I did was I gave each of the uh, LLMs a outline. And the outline was pretty in depth. It was about four to five pages of, of detail about characters, plot, uh, and that sort of stuff. And incidentally, I actually use StoryWork, which I have another video, which I'll put down in the description below or link it around here, which shows you how I did that. And that's basically an AI that asks you questions about your screenplay. Um, and so you've actually, it basically walks you through the steps of creating a screenplay, but you're the one answering those questions. So, so ChatGPT said, hey, I've chosen to, to, the chan to channel Aaron Sorkin for these opening pages, his razor sharp walk and talk style and knack for instantaneously establishing conflict and character made him the perfect fit. Sorkin's work has earned an Academy Award, the social network, multiple Emmys, and the devotion of millions of fans worldwide. His signature is, is pacing. Every line drives the story forward. So that's who ChatGPT picked. So let's take a look and see what Claude picked next. Now, Claude, on the other hand, said, hey, I'm going to use Christopher Nolan as my stylistic inspiration for the script. Nolan excels at weaving complex themes through precise economical dialogue and masterful visual storytelling. His ability to ground high concept scenarios in emotional truth, as seen in The Dark Knight, Inception, and Dunkirk, makes him perfect for this drone thriller that needs to balance technology warfare with intimate character development. And I'd like, so, so it goes on to say a little bit more. So Nolan's scripts feature lean, purposeful dialogue that reveals character through subtext, seamless interaction, or seamless, seamless integration of exposition into natural conversation, strong visual storytelling that shows rather than tells, and layered themes explored through action and character choices. And finally, let's take a look at Gemini and see how they did. Gemini chose Paul Thomas Anderson. I chose him because of exceptional ability to craft intricate characters and infuse scenes with a unique blend of tension, dark humor, and emotional depth. He excels at building atmosphere and using dialogue that feels incredibly natural yet loaded with subtext. We see a theme here. His films often feature a sense of impending dread, even if seemingly mundane situations, which fits the drone outline, an initial premise of quiet, threatening escalation into chaos. So once, once each of the LLMs was done creating its screenplay, I asked it to turn into a PDF. And that's where we got a little problems. Uh, with, since we're in Gemini right now, I'll scroll down and you can sort of see it does a good job of, of laying out the script, but you'll also notice that it doesn't do a good job of creating it in screenplay format. And then I asked it numerous times to sort of help me with that, um, but it was not able to do that at all. Let's see if I can get down to the piece. As you can see here, look at how it just doesn't really know how to do that formatting as well. Let's see if I can, I and I asked it if it could do that a couple different ways and it just, it wasn't able to do it. So, uh, and we'll see that when we look at the finished screenplay real quick. Now, Claude, on the other hand, was not able to put it into PDF, though it made it, it so it told me how to, to put it into Word and to paste it, and it created a Word document that would transfer pretty seamlessly over into, um, into a PDF. So that worked pretty well. I had to do a little prompting, but it wasn't anything really hard. Chat GPT, on the other hand, created, guess what, a PDF, <laughs> and it worked really good. So let's take a look in Final Draft, each of these different scripts. So side note, I've been having problems with Final Draft. I don't know if you're noticing that as well, too. Um, I'm using a Mac, and right now it's already having a hard time loading in for the first time. So let's take a look at our first uh, script, which is going to be uh, Claude. Now, as we come through and look at this in Claude, we can see there's a little problem with the spacing. The spacing isn't the best. Um, the way it has it 
So I'd basically what, what I'm basically saying with this is I'd have to go back through and change a couple things because the spacing isn't really well done at all. In terms of the story itself, um, so the interesting thing about my PDF is it actually had two names for the main character. So I didn't know this until I was looking through the rest of the responses. His name should be John, not Alex, except. So I do know it read the whole document though because Alex is what the outline calls my main character at the end, as opposed to John. Uh, as we go through here, it looks, like I said, pretty good. Um, again, you can just see the spacings it off. Wouldn't be hard for me to fix that at all. In terms of what it did with writing, what it didn't understand was that the drone killed a police officer and his wife on a on the front step or in the backyard um, out in the open and it has the characters dying in a basement which doesn't really fit the beat that i created so that was one thing about claude the language seems to be okay the dialogue isn't anything special which i'm not surprised with um, but other than that it did a decent job of translating what my from my outline into these first 10 pages all right, so we have the Gemini version of the script here. Again, you can see that it doesn't really format stuff really well. I tried doing the tricks that Gemini wanted me to do, and it just doesn't really hit very well. You'll also notice that this one did correctly have the right name, though. I would give it that. Um, but you can see that the spacing and stuff, and again, I can fix this in Final Draft, but it's extra work for me to do. And again, you can see that it can't figure out how to do dialogue in terms of putting the character and then the dialogue underneath it. So that was one of the biggest things about if you're gonna use Gemini, it's really hard for it to save it as a PDF in order to get it into your screenplay. The one thing I really liked about the Gemini script was how, so the, in this particular first part of the script, the mayor gets assassinated by a drone and I really sort of like the scene how Gemini sort of laid it out. So it was pretty nice. It was pretty good. Uh, it had a nice sort of tenseness to it. And I thought it flowed very well. So uh, the, in terms of writing, it was pretty good. Again, the dialogue, you know, again, it's an LLM. What do you expect? Um, but I think in terms of just sort of imagery, that one particular scene hit pretty well. Uh, better than a lot of the, uh, better than ChatGPT as well, and better than Claude, which I found interesting because Claude is normally referred to as the one that people like because of how well it writes. So we'll take a look at the ChatGPT version here. It's pretty good. I mean, you can see the spacing is a lot better. Let's see if it can get uh, the sort of dialogue things right. Uh, yep, it's getting that right, though for some reason it doesn't have this right. Hmm. So it's in some sense, it didn't get some of the other stuff right. It didn't get names uh, and other things right. Now, to be fair, though, I had to reload this up from yesterday, so some of it might just be that. But it's so it's sort of hit or miss. Again, I don't have to do as much changing with the formatting. So it's it's a lot better format than um, some of the other ones. It's the action lines are tighter together. So overall, I think in terms of looking at the best one to give you a PDF, the one you have to do less amount of work, it's ChatGPT. Uh, in terms of how I think it wrote the story, I, I think ChatGPT is probably in between Gemini and Claude. Um, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. I think Claude was a little off because it had that one scene that should have happened out in the open and not down in the basement. Like I said, I don't know how it got there for that. So. So looking at sort of what works best if you're just having it right off an outline, I actually like Gemini a little better. But if you want ease of use and you don't want to futz around with all the formatting and stuff, you might want to go with ChatGPT. So maybe I'm going to say ChatGPT and Gemini are tied for that first category. As much as I want to say Gemini should win because of the writing, ChatGPT works better because of the formatting. And if formatting is a headache for you, use ChatGPT. There's not that big of a difference in writing between ChatGPT and Gemini. And so our next category, we're gonna I'm gonna ask Gemini first to take a look at my screenplay and improve the first four pages. And so let's take a look at that. Um, now the interesting thing, because uh, I need to say this, is it was able to take the full PDF. Uh, the whole script is 104 pages, and so it was able to read the PDF in in, in its whole. Um, and basically, uh, as I look through the here. Um, it tells me I can strengthen Max character introduction for shadow trauma, um, 
which I think works well. It asks me to look at more subtle dialogue. Um, it looks me to do some physical tells, some internal monologue, if formatted for screenplays, which if this was a, a regular story, I think would work well. At least the way I'm telling the story, I don't think internal monologue is really going to be helpful. So the nice thing I like about Gemini is it tells you why this helps, why it makes it stronger. It also wants me to enhance the suspense and mystery of the attack on the first couple of pages. Um, and again, it tells me again, why does it help? You know, And then refine some dialogue to reveal character and advance plot efficiency. Um, so then, yeah, so I think that was in, so I think that was very helpful. And these were sort of some of the same critiques that I had. So let's take a look in Claude at ChatGPT to see if they gave me something similar in terms of how I can improve my script. So the interesting thing about Claude, Claude could not take, and I paid for Claude. I, I should I should say I, I'm paying for the pro version of Claude. It could not take a 104 page screenplay. It wouldn't let me do it. Um, and Gemini I was using was the free version. Uh, and allowed me to do it. But for the paid version of Claude, I'm paying for the paid version of Claude, I could not download my whole 104 page script. So I actually cut out about, um, I took it down to 80 pages. So that's one thing to think of. The next thing I want us to sort of look at is, uh, it's talking to me about how to, so some of the, so some of the suggestions are character development and dialogue. Uh, your later scenes show much stronger character voices. Um, which is interesting because Wayne is only in the first part of the movie. And so um, he's got sort of rambling dialogue, which is sort of the point of that particular character. Uh, so it's interesting. It doesn't seem to get, at least from that first critique, very deep into the screenplay. Um, scene transitions and pacings. It says your later scenes have smoother transitions and better pacings. The opening feels rushed. That I agree with. I agree that does feel a little rushed. And I did that sort of on purpose. Uh, now I do an excellent job of tension building, but I don't do that in that first scene, which again, I think is very valid criticism for that. And visual storytelling, more specific visual details about the location and characters, clear character action lines that help people visualize the scene and better use of small town highway setting. Again, I agree with that. I, I don't disagree with any of the things that, that any of the LMMs are saying, because I know this script um, needs a lot of polish on it. Um, so it basically is looking for consistency as well. Ensure Max's character arc starts properly. His trauma and reluctance about peace, police work should be hinted at earlier since it becomes central to his character development. Um, and then, of course, it gives you that AI feel-good thing. The screenplay shows real promise, and the opening pages are just the match. The strong character work and pacing you established in the rest of the script. Yeah, whatever. I, I know it's not the best stuff. Again, it's a, fr it's a, it's a front draft. Let's look at ChatGPT and see if it gives, it gives me a similar type of critique that I like about ChatGPT over the other ones in terms of doing sort of script review or script revision is it'll actually tell me a line. What you have is Max, your average small town cop that everybody likes is learning, is leaning. Um, and it tells me why it slows it down. So already I like the way that it's sp specific about how I can improve the script. Um, ex trim extraneous banter, focus the tone. Um, and it tells me why it slows the pacing down. Heightened urgency in the 911 call. Perfect. And again, it gives me an example, which I think is a lot better than the other two so far. Clarified geography and stakes at the rest stop. Perfect. And again, it gives me an example. How to improve. Uh, layer the four shock with emotional through line. In short, and then goes through summarize. It tells me everything uh, I need to do. So in terms of looking at uh, sort of notes for a screenplay or stuff like that, I definitely will take ChatGPT over Claude or over uh, Gemini uh, because it does a better job of, of telling you exactly what the script line is and giving you some concrete things to work on. So that's good to know. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take two scenes and I want them to be a little bit more scarier. One of my favorite horror movies is Scream. And so I had it sort of amp up that using a uh, type of meta horror, Scream vibe, um, that type of stuff. I really wanted something, this particular scene reminded me of something out of Scream. So uh, that's what I hoped it would do. And again, you have uh, ChatGPT writing it in perfect screenwriting format. And so it's really easy to look at. Um, and I could even pull this into a Word document afterwards. Uh, real good to do. And then what it does, it goes, it stops at each of the scenes and tells you what it added, what works for it, and, uh, and why. Uh, and like I said, I really thought it, it did okay. Um, a lot of it took my original writing and just sort of put in these small elements from Scream. 
Um, they're a little overt more than I, I was hoping for. I was hoping more like a flavor of Scream. I should have put that in the prompt. But overall, I didn't mind this one at all. I thought it was decent. It was okay. So let's take a look at Claude next. And then we get to Claude. Um, again, for a LLM that's known for its writing, I was not really impressed with the writing. I have to say Claude was a very big disappointment in terms of writing screenplays. I mean, I use Claude sometimes to help with, I'm writing a book right now for a uh, different sort of genre, and that's been helpful because I have it ask me questions and it puts together my thoughts uh, coherently. Um, and so I think that's been really helpful. But in terms of this, um, it's not been very good. It's It's been pretty mediocre writing. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't have a lot of flair. It, it just feels very sterile in terms of writing. And maybe you got a different opinion for me than that. But, um, and again, so we'll take a look at the text for this. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's not great. It's not bad, um, but disappointing. I mean, in terms of if I compare it between the chat GPT version and the Claude version, the chat GPT version, hands down, is better. It's, it's just better. So let's take a look at Gemini. All right, for Gemini here, um, as it goes through here, it pulls out the original scenes. It sort of talks about the rewritten screen elements. Now, in terms of, the th of all three of them, I think Gemini did the better version of sort of giving the Scream vibe without putting Scream direct references in. Do you, do you sort of know what I mean? It sort of gives you that flavor of Scream um, in terms of scenes, in terms of how things should work. It was very, it gave you that, under, it understood the assignment basically, um, even though my prompt probably wasn't the best prompt. Um, but it, it, did, it did a good job of that. Again, unfortunately, you get these whacked out ways of uh, screenwriting format. So if you don't mind that, it's fine. I mean, like I said, I, I think it understood the assignment a lot better. It has that flavor of Scream. It gives you sort of Screamish vibes without being overtly Scream. And that's sort of what the mission I was going for that. So, and again, Gemini was not the paid version. I just, just used the regular version and it worked great. And if I'd rank how I look at these LLMs, I would actually put Gemini as one of the better ones in terms of just sort of it got the vibe better for screenwriting. Now, the hard piece of that is I also like ChatGPT. ChatGPT didn't have the exact same vibe as Gemini, but it made getting into the final draft and just working on the formatting so much easier that I would actually probably even elevate it above Gemini, even though I like the writing in Gemini better, if that makes sense. Uh, but I liked ChatGPT's ability to just make a PDF. I didn't know that was such going to be such a big deal. Um, and just to use proper screenwriting format. Again, I didn't think that would be a big deal. Totally disappointed in Claude, though. Um, like I said, that one's the one that's supposed to be better at writing. Um, but like I said, I just it's just these are just three different ways that I tried to use AI. There's some other ones I'm going to come up with down the line. Is there any particular test you want me to try with all three AIs to sort of figure out which one can help you with your writing? Again, this is to help you come up and write faster. This is not to replace your writing style. In each of these, I took a script that I already wrote or ideas I already had. I didn't just come in and write a prompt to say, hey, come up with a script for me. So I'm trying to use ChatGPT uh, Gemini and Claude as writing partners and not to replace me as the writer. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? Which one have you had the most success with? Which, What kind of prompts seem to work best for you? Let me know in the comment section below. And as I promised before, I'm actually going to link, the next video I'm going to do is going to be about a AI that's designed specifically for writing in screenplays. So we'll take a look at that and see if it's better than any of these three. So I'll see you in that video.